Golden sculptures decorate the streets, and golden cupolas provide welcome shade. In Muscat, the capital of Oman, it almost seems as if the streets are paved with gold. The German University of Technology is a little less spectacular. This German university, surrounded by palm trees, teaches subjects that the Arab world regards as typically German, high-level technology, and natural sciences. The university is funded by private Omani investors. Most of the lecturers come from Aachen's Technical College. 135 students are enrolled for the first semester, the majority of them women. For many of them, a German university provides the only chance they have to study. In Oman, a traditional Muslim country, they have to live with their families and can only travel abroad with chaperones. Well, it's sort of like Kismet. I, I wanted to go to another university, but same major, geology. And at the end, I chose the university, it was a, in a Gulf country. But at the end, I found out, at the end, I found out that it was in Arabic. They taught in Arabic, so it was a problem for me. And then at the same time, I found out about uh, geotech, and they had earth sciences. So, I came here. In other countries in the Gulf region, U.S. and British universities have long competed for talented young students. But things were different in Oman. Oman is not nearly as rich as other Gulf states. It's a classic emerging nation. The Technical College of Aachen decided to open a branch in Oman because it sees potential for development here. That's precisely what's interesting, that there isn't so much oil and gas here, so they have to develop other industries. And to develop industries, seats of learning are enormously important. They offer education and research, and that's exactly what we want to provide. A few months ago in Aachen, a group of students from Oman came to the Technical College. One day, these students will be among Oman's decision makers. Germany would like to deepen ties with them to strengthen long-term economic and political relations. The message is clear. German education will give them a competitive edge at home. After two weeks, many of the students have already decided they'd like to return to do some of their studying in Aachen because the university is so well equipped. The university in Oman is housed in a few rented villas and provisional buildings. The educational equipment and materials available at universities in Germany do not yet exist in Oman. The current campus is an interim solution. But in a few years, the university will move to a new, much larger complex of buildings. Everyone is just waiting for Germany to be represented here, because many people in Oman send their children to the German university in Cairo or Jordan, and they'd much rather have the students remain here. The students probably won't have to worry about finding a good job. Graduates can expect a rosy future in Oman, which for some years now has been increasing its investment in new industries. My future for the, for the next few years, it will be like uh, after graduation, inshallah, if I pass and I graduate, I'll just like go in some other company search for work and inshallah I'll find a good job which is concerning my my uh, process, my goal, which is being a hardware engineer. As Oman's importance grows, English and U.S. universities are also taking an interest in the country's students. The competition for bright-minded individuals is increasing. <laughs>